morning. I'm Sean. This is Matt 243. I hope. Yes, we're in the right place. Good. Um, how many of you guys, this is your last math class? You're done after 243. Okay. Quarter of you. Awesome. How about 244 after 243? A chunk. About another. Okay. So what about the rest of you? Or you're not sure yet? The rest of you aren't sure. If it's, it was only about half the class ish. But you're not sure yet. That's okay. That's okay. If you, if you need an elective, 244 is a great uh, sequel, but we'll talk about that later on. Um, yeah, so today, first day, I have a couple things planned. One is to go through my syllabus. Some of you have it before. It's going to look pretty similar. Um, some things have changed. Uh, pretty significant things have changed, but by the most part, it looks like it would have looked, you know, last term. Um, so you can take a nap for a while if you want to. And it might get pretty warm in here. Is it already, is it already feel warm in here to you guys? Yeah, it's fine to me. It feels okay. I'm going to crack that door to try, just to try to get some... I, apparently you're not supposed to open the windows in these rooms or the climate control goes haywire. But we'll try to do this anyway. It's definitely cooler out here. So we'll try to keep it comfortable. Door wedge. Say again? Door wedge. Uh, the chair works okay. It's fine. The goes around it. Um, so yeah, today let's just talk about the class in general, like an overview of the class. So this is COCC's website, but the website that they gave me to play with with you guys starts with their website and then it's slash S R U L E. My initial sh for Sean Yule. So let's go to that. There we go. Now it's I, I can't this this site isn't I can't clean it up much better this front page that's yeah, my picture when I started working here. I had less gray hair then so I had less hair then so uh, I like that one um, it's got all my stuff on it that you need so you've got you know my office is in Grandview which isn't that far from here actually North of Hill yeah um, phone number email all that shebang um, it's got office hours on it at the bottom. If you guys checked email today, I sent you an email already today. That's three I sent you before class even started. I apologize. I'll try to back off that a little bit. Um, I did have to move. I had some crazy meetings last week, and I, a lot of stuff had to get moved around this week. And unfortunately, the only time I could do something right here was to push these back a bit. So if you were planning on coming by today, which I don't think anybody was, but if you were, I won't be until 1.30, and I'll stay till 3.30 today. Usually, Monday will be 12.30 to 2.30. I'm going to try to keep that unless... Something like this happens, which, if you remember from last term, it does happen from time to time. So I'll try to keep these, and if it does happen that I have to change something, I'll try to give you plenty of notice, unlike today, um, and I'll email it to you guys so you know what's going on. So Monday, 12 to 2, 30, 12.30, 2.30, Wednesday, 12.30, 2.30, and then a warm little hour stuck on Tuesdays. Um, Monday and Wednesday are usually the easiest days for me to create time to have office hours. Um, so yeah, so that's us. That's us. That's what we're doing. Um, here's you guys right here. I, I wanted this to have borders around it, and you would think that adding borders to a table would be simple. But I, I uh, anybody code HTML? Wait, three, three, three people. people once. Yes, <laughs> once exactly, because I was born in the '70s, so I learned how to code there, in the '90s. Code Academy. Right? And well, the problem is the server that we have won't let me code. It, oh, it, I can't put the borders in. It looks, it looks cruddy. But if you can kind of pretend where their borders should be, like right there, CRM meetings, and then there should be a border right here. Mac 243, pretend there's borders right there. Actually, you know what? It's just right on the board for time to see it. Right there and there. And there, 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 there. There, yeah, perfect. That's what I was trying to do for an hour and a half last week. You couldn't figure it out. I kept, I kept putting the tags in, and then I would hit save, and it would keep erasing my tags. So I'm like, this is the machine thinking it's smarter than I am. Whatever, it's cool. What I want to spend the most time today is exploring that link right there, that course information link. And the reason I make this a big deal is it actually shared between you guys and the other 243 class. That's why I wanted to have the borders there. But I think you can figure it out just under 243. So I wanted to spend most of today exploring that oops, and making sure you guys understand what is going on with that. So without further ado, we'll get into that course information. All right, so here's, and you can see where I learned how to code in the 90s, it looks like that. Um, is that okay? Do we want, do we want that? Yeah. This is the same room we were in for 105, isn't it? Now yeah. I'm realizing as I turn the lights off, this is exactly, is that the same place that's okay? <laughs> <laughs> so this is, this is the main place you'll be going into to get information for the class, whether it's to download assessments to do, or whether it's to 
find the videos for the class or whether it's to just read up on some extra uh, resources that I created. And anybody that's had me before, chime in. If you guys want to add anything that I'm forgetting to say, just chime in. Anything, anything that you think can benefit your fellow students. Because I say, I say pretty much the same thing every term, so if you guys see something else like Joanne's like, oh yeah, but you might want to also pay attention to that because of this, let me just chime in and let me know. Um, this, come on in. This hopefully grabbed your attention right away. Ha, bright yellow tends to do that. Uh, the schedule page is where we kind of keep a running track of what we're doing in the classes on the schedule page. So I'm gonna explore that further. It's kind of like a calendar, but it's also kind of, it's kind of like a bastardized calendar as well. We've got 10 weeks together, which is very, very quick academically. So I've got links to each of the weeks. I've also got links to what are called extra practice. We'll get to that momentarily. And then these things called rainy day coupons, which we'll get to more than momentarily. Probably not today. Um, I've got these things broken down by week. So I'm going to click on week one, which is what we're in right now. There's your dates up there. Today to the 3rd of October. I can't believe September's almost over. Crazy to think about. Each week is in a rectangular block. Again, web design of the 90s kind of stuck with me. So everything's blocked out rectangularly. And if you scroll down, you'll see the entire week on the left. This is what makes it a bastardized calendar. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, down the side. Usually, a normal calendar, you'd have that across the top. And actually, this summer, I looked for another academic type calendar where I could have the calendar out and then click and then have call outs to show up with hyperlinks and other stuff. And I just couldn't find one that needed to do what I needed it to do. So we're, we defaulted back to this one. Um, so for each week, I put the dates first, followed by administrative stuff for you guys. So you've got the library tutoring schedule listed here. Please note that Math 243 and Math 244 are statistics classes, not math classes. So if you want to go for tutoring, you probably want to look for statistics tutors. And they actually are in a different spot. Much like how the science is broken down, you've got bio and chemistry and physics and geology. They're in different statistics and math, although related. They're kind of like Portuguese and Spanish. You want to think of it that way. Does that make sense? They're very, very similar. Or Italian and Spanish. Very, very similar. Probably more like Portuguese and Spanish. But there's enough differences to kind of warrant its own its own kind of study. So look for a stat tutor, and there are plenty of them. I've worked very closely with Kelly to get more down there. Um, so you've got your tutoring schedule. You also are entitled to download and keep on your own personal computer Office 2013. Um, I just found this out, I think, last term with you guys. So I put a link there to how you can do it. As long as you're, a, you're good for a browse. I'm like, I didn't know that. Good. We learned something already. Uh, as long as you're a student at COCC, you can download Office 2013 and put it on your machine until you're not a student at COCC anymore for free. I think it's their way of trying to suck you in to buy it when you leave. I think, I, I, from a business point of view, I think that's right. There's only certain qualifying schools that are being allowed to do that. Right and we're one of them, apparently, which yeah. is great. So, got details for you there if you want to click on it and check it out. <laughs> okay? Just so you know, we will be using at least Excel, maybe Word in here, depending on how you choose to submit stuff. But we will be using Excel from time to time. Cool so far? So that's kind of what's in the red. And each week has its own red. We mentioned earlier, financial aid at the end of week two is the last cutoff when you get your money back. So I tell you about that in the week two red bar. Week seven is the last drop deadline. So I tell you about that kind of stuff. It's the stuff that you're getting emails from. Maybe you read it, maybe you don't from the school all the time. I just try to reiterate. I read Malcolm Gladwell's Tipping Point over the summer. I don't know if you guys have read that book or not. Gladwell, wrote, he wrote uh, Outliers, Tipping Point, Blink, number of books. And the summer's the only time I actually find or read books. And he mentioned something needs to be said on average six times until it sticks. And I thought to myself, oh my god, six times. I thought I was doing it like three times. It's like, yeah, three times. I got a six-year-old. Do you think I would have learned that by now? <laughs> so I figure if I can hit it here, and you're also being hit in your email, and maybe they're doing those little texts to you too, that's three. Maybe I say it twice more, and that's six. We'll see. But anyway, once you start getting into the meat of the schedule page, see, here we are on Monday. Here you guys are. I'm going to have, this is a little bit different than when you guys had it. I, I looked at the schedule from last term and realized it was a little too chaotic. Like when things were due, the entire cell was red, and then people didn't know what to focus on. So what I've done now is I've broken down each cell into four spots. What's due? Today, nothing. So it's blank. What we did together, this is what we're going to be doing today. Okay, but they're all, they're, they'll be hyperlinked. I realize this is kind of dumb to have this hyperlinked in here. You had to go to that to get to here. So then you get to click on that again. It's kind of like this kind of cat chasing its tail. But whatever, that's what we're doing. And then here, we're recording right now on the camera, 
I will upload those to YouTube, and hopefully within 24 hours, barring crashes and whatnot, I'll have a hyperlink on here that will link through to the videos. So if you missed class or you want to go watch something again, you can go back and find it. I'll have it set up as a playlist. So you'll have a number of videos. I wish I had more time to edit them down and actually have each one individually labeled. All, they, all they'll say right now is first day of class part one, first day of class part two, first day of class part three. Um, I wish I had more time. I have work study funds, but anybody wants to work and do that. <laughs> but right now, you'll have a playlist set up. So when you click on that, it'll take you to the first video where I asked you if it was okay to video you, and then it'll just play through from there until the next class, and then it'll pick up where that one left off. That make sense? The other resources was an idea I had about three weeks ago. I might, speaking of Khan Academy, it's a great point, I might try to find when applicable and when relevant, and if they're useful enough, other resources that I can link into your page to help you in that search process and learning process. I like to think of education as op more open than a normal traditional classroom. You'll realize that as you do your quizzes and your projects and your exams. They're all done outside of class. They're all done using all possible resources. You're not sitting in class with no, no notebook, no notes, no nothing, turning things in. I, I, it's, that's unrealistic in the world. I mean, the whole, we have to admit that, right? That's not how you work. You don't go to work, they don't lock you in your office and take your pen away and be like, now solve this problem. <laughs> they make you work with other people, and even if they don't make you work with other people, they let you use resources to solve the problems. So I do the same thing. So anyway, this will hopefully come in handy as far as these resources go, this one and this one. Um, now you might notice, if you've already been to this page, some of you may have gone and explored already. Like on Wednesday, there's something due. Website quiz, what a bastard. I got something due on Wednesday. We'll talk about that momentarily. But what we did together, blank. How could they be blank? What are we going to do on that day? Well, the reason it's blank is not because we're not going to do anything. <coughs> it's because I'm not exactly sure how far we're going to get that day. And I don't want to put something in there and then fail to meet it and then have to redo everything after it. Because how many of you have been in a class like that? First day they hand you a syllable, a syllable, a syllable, syllable. Bus, <laughs> with many syllables. And they say, okay, boom, 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 boom. And then it's, it's Central Oregon, so it's going to snow on Friday. And then everything was pushed back a week, and then I've got to reprint a syllabus with everything moved, right? Rather than doing that, I know what we're going to do in this class. We are going to do these topics. More on these momentarily, what these topics are. Those are our topics. There's, I think there's nine, I'm pretty sure. Nine topics in ten weeks. On average, that would be what? About how many topics per week? About approximately one of them. Approximately one, exactly right. But that's, that's an average of approximately one. One of them, for example, this one right here, I like to take at least two weeks to do that one, which means something of the other ones are compressed. Okay? I don't know which ones just yet. Depends on your guys' questions. Maybe you have more questions on a certain topic. We spend more time in that one. I'm okay with that. We always seem to get through these nine. I, I, for some reason, it always seems to work. But I know this one takes longer than most. This probability distribution. This, actually, these two, probably. We're looking at three and a half, almost four weeks right there. 40% of the class on those two topics. Some of the other ones are more compressible, not because I make them be that way, they just end up being that way. I don't know why. It's an animal that changes a little bit from term to term, but that's what kind of happens. So on average, about one per week, yes. But it does change as the terms go. So that's why I don't bother. I don't bother writing out what we're going to do day to day. I just figure we'll come into class, learn some stuff. I'll link the stuff we did, link the videos we recorded, and then you go home, do some stuff, come back the next day, we pick up where we left off. I don't want to get through a topic every day just to get through a topic. That seems kind of counterproductive. I might send you home with something to do that's outside of what we did in class. You know what? Before next time, it's, 20, it's 48 hours from now, you're going to forget something. Bring this back next time. That kind of thing. So anyway, so these will all be linked. Hopefully other resources, as I said, there'll be some stuff here. And we'll just fill that in as we go. Now, as you scroll down, there are other things to do. And we'll talk about all those today. Like week two, you got a quiz that's not linked yet. Down here, week three, you've got a project and a quiz that isn't linked yet. Eventually, there's an exam that's not linked yet. We'll talk about all those today. More about that today. But this is just the schedule page. So this is your guys' column. This is the column you guys get to live in. Think you can live in there? Hopefully. Hopefully. And then, that, oh yeah, I put the, uh, I put like the, the, the uh, holidays in blue just to mix it up a little bit. Cool? Sorry, that's a little bit nauseating. You have to watch that go by pretty quickly. Apologies. So that's the schedule page. I want to talk about the individual components more as today goes on, but that's an overview of the schedule page. I do apologize for its 90 degree weird rotation with the days being on the left as opposed to the top, but because I have four classes, it's the best way to put it all on one page. So I found it. I happily take suggestions to the, to the contrary from anybody. I'd love, love to. All right. 
We will we'll come back to that. Oops. We will come back to that schedule page soon, but I want to go to the materials page next because I think this may have confused some people, which is why I sent my second email out to you guys last week.